Hey guys, this is Jamin with PC Monkey. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. We're working on an ASUS laptop that's not turning on, freezing, or turning on and then turning off. Uh, now a BIOS reset procedure is not the easiest do-it-yourself project because we will be accessing the inside of the computer and we will be working off of the motherboard. So if your computer is showing these symptoms, if you haven't already, try out our laptop no power freezes, turns on then off video first. Uh, go into the description, it'll be video number one. That's a less invasive, easier, cheaper fix um, that, that you should try first before moving on to this if that doesn't work. So again, if you haven't tried that yet, stop the video, try that first. If you've already been there and you've come here, then we'll proceed with the BIOS reset tutorial. Now in order to perform a BIOS reset, you have to remove the CMOS battery uh, from your motherboard. CMOS battery. Uh, that battery supplies power to the motherboard even when your computer's off to keep your base system running. So when we remove that battery, uh, BIOS will reset itself to a default setting, which can sometimes revive your computer in the event that BIOS has been corrupted or, or is erroring. Uh, so let's get into the computer. Uh, you're going to have to open it up. So flip it over, take out all the screws that you find on your bottom case. Helps if you have a magnetized screwdriver. Um, feel free to just leave it the night before on a magnet. It's a lot easier than flipping your computer over to shake out each screw that comes out. All right, now we're gonna take a small flat metal pry tool we're going to go along the seam of your palm rest and your bottom case and pry that seam apart. So go nice and slow and be gentle. Don't overpower it because you definitely can muscle it off, but you can break it. Now sometimes it'll be your palm rest that comes off. Sometimes it'll be your bottom case that comes off. It depends where the majority of components are at. In this computer, as you can see here, the palm rest comes off because the majority of the components are on the bottom case. If that were reversed and the motherboard was attached to the palm rest, your bottom case would come off. So now don't just rip this off. As you can see here, uh, there's multiple ribbon cables in there that are connecting your palm rest to your motherboard. We're going to need to unattach those first before we can take this palm rest off. I'm going to do it here and because um, it's a bad angle to see. But once I get it off, I'll show you what I did. All right, so the palm rest comes off. These are the ribbon cables that were attached to your motherboard. Put that aside. Now, I used a plastic pry tool for this. Your motherboard's still live right now. Your battery's still connected to it. So if you poke around with a screwdriver, a metal screwdriver, and you make connections on your motherboard that shouldn't exist, you could damage your motherboard or ruin it. So, plastic pry tool. Now, what I did, I'll show you here. These are uh, ribbon cable ports, one there, one there and I had one here for your keyboard, your touchpad, and your, and your power button. These things, the ribbon cable slide into and they have clips that slide down to secure your ribbon cable and then they pop up to allow you to release it. So what I did is I took my plastic pry tool and I popped those up, slid my ribbon cables out and then now I can put them back down for safety because you don't want to break those. You want to be careful here. You're never going to find replacements for these. Um, it's a really easy way to just ruin your entire motherboard by breaking one of those and making it so that your ribbon cable doesn't stay in there securely. So after you've done that, the next thing you want to do with any computer repair is take your battery out or unplug it. We want to get this motherboard not live while we're working on it so there's a, a smaller chance of damaging it. Now sometimes your battery can be plugged into the motherboard by a cable that looks like this. Um, sometimes it'll be like this one is and it'll just set onto that cable or it'll set onto that port. So in this battery, all we have to do really is lift it up and it comes right off. But sometimes again, there'll be a cable coming from this battery that plugs into your motherboard. You want to unplug that. So once we get that unplugged, we're looking for your CMOS battery at this point. Now you don't see it here. Unfortunately, in this computer, I'm going to have to take my motherboard off to show you where to access it. 
So let's start unplugging things that are plugged into your motherboard. So we're going to have to remove your hard drive. So unscrew your, your caddy and your hard drive should slide out. There we go. Put that to the side. Now we're going to start unplugging things from your motherboard. Your Wi-Fi card is over here and your antenna is hooked up to it. So we're going to unplug your antenna. Now, we don't have to unplug your Wi-Fi card, but sometimes this is not only screwing the Wi-Fi card to the board, it's also a screw that goes through the board to the casing. So just to be safe, so we don't damage your motherboard when we're trying to take it out, we're, we're gonna take the Wi-Fi card out. Keep the screws with the components that they go to, because they're different sizes. So I'm, I'm gonna keep the hard drive screws with the hard drive, keep the Wi-Fi screw with the Wi-Fi card. So now let's start unplugging things. We got your speakers plug in here. Gonna pull that out. Gonna use my fingernails and slide that out by the port. Try to resist the urge to grab the wires and pull. Because oftentimes these wires are not in there very well and they can definitely come out of the port. Same thing with your fan. What else do we got here? We have your LCD cable coming down. I'm gonna take that out. All right, looks like everything's unplugged. Now I just have to unscrew the motherboard to flip it over. A lot of screws in this motherboard. Now, as you can see here, the hinge is actually screwed into the motherboard. So we got to take those out as well to get this motherboard up. And our motherboard should now be free to remove. All right. Be careful because in the event that you miss a screw, you don't want to. Uh, oop. You don't want to force this up. Looks like I got to remove my DVD drive as well. Everything's plugged into this motherboard here. Slide that out. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. So that comes right up. So flip that over. So there's your RAM, uh, and there's your CMOS battery. They'll either look like this, which is kind of a loose CMOS battery. You see these at like drugstores and things like that or sometimes they're encased in black uh, electrical tape and they're plugged in to your motherboard uh, by a port. So either way, if it's plugged in, unplug it. Or if it's in a casing like this, in a cradle like this, we're gonna take that out of the cradle. Now be very careful, these are generally very breakable. Uh, it's very cheap, flimsy plastic that's holding these in. So it's spring-loaded, so you're just gonna push and it should slide up. Just like that. So again, spring-loaded. Just like a uh, flashlight or something like that. So after you get your CMOS battery out, you're gonna keep that out for about 20 minutes. Uh, this will cause, again, like I mentioned earlier, this will cause your, your base system to reset to the a, a default settings. So now that we've installed your CMOS battery, you're gonna reinstall your motherboard. Uh, work in reverse from what you did, plug everything back in. Uh, this was an involved repair, so make sure everything's plugged in correctly. And then you're going to go ahead and try to turn on your computer. If this has worked and, and your BIOS has reset and your computer's on now, you're probably going to have to go into your BIOS setup utility and reconfigure some of your settings, such as your, your date and time. If you want help in how to do that, go into the description, look at video two. That'll show you how to change your date and time so your computer runs correctly, because if you don't, your computer will always be erroring out every, every time you start it. However, if this has not worked and your computer is still not turning on, then that could mean a number of things. It could mean that your actual CMOS battery is bad and needs to be replaced, which is a pretty cheap fix. Try that first. 
Um, however, um, it could also mean that there's some other components that are not working correctly. If you want further videos to troubleshoot different components from here, go into the description and look at video three. That'll show you how to test your power jack to make sure that it's working correctly and it's delivering the correct electricity to the power jack. Also, you can check out video four, which is your power jack test. That will test your power jack to make sure that it's taking the correct voltage from the charger, but actually getting it to your motherboard, which sometimes it, it breaks. So please like and share if this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or need any clarification, please leave a message down below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.